Hi, this is David at Caravans UK. I'm just going to do a tour of a caravan for you. So, what we'll do is we'll go inside and out just so you can see how it all looks. 2014 Bailey Unicorn Cartagena, uh, which is a four berth twin axle with an island bed. So, being a Bailey, they usually come with reasonably length seats. Um, so, you could use these as potentially as singles. Then, as the Bailey, uh, the slats pull out from under the seats. Um, so you pull them across to the other side and use the cushions around. Same thing again, lovely big window, lets a lot of light in and then that comes up to the, uh, the skylight there as well. Plenty of overhead uh, storage, quite large cupboards. That then brings us round to the kitchen area. So you've got the sink there with the draining board which just moves across. Um, obviously you drain your sink. You've got uh, a couple of power sockets just there, maybe a microwave or something like that. Uh, sorry, a kettle or something like that. You've then got a drinks cabinet at the top there, which is mirrored behind. More cupboards around the top there. The cooker, we've got three gas burners, one electric. We've got the grill, always quite stiff those doors. And then the oven. More cupboard space around there as well. Um, and then a lot, uh, sort of a few drawers under the sink. Now the reason that comes out is actually the gas bottles on the outside, this uh, on the side of the vans, not on the front of these. Uh, but I'll show you that in a second. Spinning round, we've got a tall fridge freezer. So a big fridge, a uh, small fridge at the top, and then the microwave just there. At the doorway here, you've got the controls for the van itself and then the heating. So there's a Truma, sorry, a Aldi Wet Central heating in this caravan. Island bed, like I mentioned. So obviously you can get out either side. You've got a wardrobe either side. The bed will pull out towards that wall there to give a bit of extra length if you're tall like myself. So you've got a wardrobe either side, sort of a his and hers type of thing. Uh, more cupboards just below. Full storage under the bed there as well, um, if you've got any large items to carry. There's the other wardrobe. End washroom, so you've got a Thetford electric flush toilet in the corner, with a vanity mirror above and a small cupboard. Your sink on the back wall, uh, and then obviously ever so popular with these Baileys, actually you've got uh, a wash basket there as well. So there is the heated towel rail that comes fitted to the van. Uh, which is part of the Aldi system and then obviously the customer has added a second radiator um, which just plugs in which I'm guessing just under the bed there actually and then if I can open it one handed is the shower just need to clean that actually but we've not really processed this van just yet so we'll go outside and show you the side of the van as well. So because you don't have lockers on the front, you do have these side ones. There's a barbecue point just above and then there's an um, electric point just there as well. Like I mentioned, twin axles, it's a good size caravan. Locker box just there, you can access that from under the bed. It is a bit windy so I hope you can hear me okay. The phone went a bit out of focus then, we'll try again. There we are. So that looks like it's had a sticker on in the past and uh, it's just left a bit of residual glue. Toilet cassette box on this side as is the inlet for the fresh water. So like I mentioned in the van, your gas locker is on this side. So what that's done is remove the locker at the front and gives you a bit more space in the van, uh, give you a bit more space lengthwise. You've got your inlet there for the fresh water and then a second side locker just there. So it's on the Alco chassis, 13 pin electrics. Um, there's a fitted ATC there as well, which I think is probably a bit of a wasted space for a twin axle, but uh, it's there and it'll bring your insurance down a little bit. So 2014 Bailey Unicorn Cartagena, it's on at 15.995. So there we go, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it useful. Of course there's nothing like coming down to see them in the flesh. 
So if you want to give me a call to arrange a view in, or I'll give you a call in a few days, just see if you receive the video and see how you've got on. Thank you.